Hi, I'm Mr. News for After Dark, Cat TV Pro, Rebel Media. This month is Puerto Rican Heritage Month. And every year, Comité Nupenero puts together symposiums, workshops on the subject of Puerto Rico. And for the fourth straight year, they have put together the Artisans' Fair, where artists get to showcase their work. For the first time, the event took place at the Eugenio Maria de Hostas Community College. Hostas was a man of many trades, a poet, writer, philosopher, and educator. We came upon two individuals who elaborate on the history of Hostas and the college itself. We're being joined right now by activist and historian Bomexi. He's going to give us a brief history of who this great man, Ruggiero Maria de Hostos, was. Well, Eugenio Maria de Hostos one of the, was one of the greatest intellectuals of Latino um, or Latin America, but in particularly from Puerto Rico. He was a man that struggled for the, for the independence of Puerto Rico. He struggled for the, um, the, the unity of the Caribbean countries. He did a lot of work here in the city of New York in the, in the uh, early uh, 19th century. He worked over here with all the, all the other patriots at Ramon Emeterio Betances and the ones that you have already mentioned. And he was also was, um, worked with Jose Martí and other, and other Latin American people that were struggling for the independence of their countries at that time. The junior college was involved in the community activism, the, the takeovers and everything. Yeah. That's it, a it, tremendous history. Yeah, that well that goes back to the mid seventies, yeah, when we took it to the streets to keep this place alive. We did uh, we uh, had the longest takeover of any uh, you know any university in the history of the United States. Um, and uh, yeah, this place was born in uh, in La Lucha and uh, you know we have that that long history. Artist Olga Ayala is a perfect example of women's role in Puerto Rican political struggle for independence and the arts. Some of our most respected leaders of struggle have been artists. Julio de Burgos, Lola Rodriguez del Tio, Mariana Brasiti, mm -hmm. then there's Yasmin Hernandez, and Mariposa. Yeah, Dulcia Pagan, she's also, a lot of people know her as a, as a former political prisoner, but she's also an artesana también. She, she's done a lot of crafts and she's, she sells her work. So you can't really separate one from the other. I mean, art is, a self, is an extension of yourself, an extension of your, ex, your expression, and whatever's in your psyche, whether it's conscious or subconscious, is going to come out in your work. Is that what we see in your work as well? Well, you see some of it in my work. You know, you see, of course, you know, we have the Puerto Rican flag. And, of course, I keep it with the light blue instead of the, the dark blue. You know, I, it's the, the way it should be, the lighter blue uh, on, the, on the flag. And um, I, I also have the uh, nationalists. Uh, this is uh, the party that uh, Juan Alviso, Pedro Alviso Campos, uh, started the political party, independent party. So I always represent. Uh, I'm not. Not all my work is very political, but I'm always representing somewhere. Comité of Membre gives space for innovation in the arts as well as maintaining traditions. Yasmin Hernandez's work is featured on a compilation CD of musicians raising awareness and support for the Puerto Rican political prisoners. Yasmin is a perfect example of the importance of Puerto Rican women in revolution and struggle. And this is a perfect example of her artwork. Yasmin Hernandez, great artist. And uh, this is really, it's really fascinating. Should also mention that this is Loita Lebron. Now, could you tell us a little about this Freedom album, which has a little bit of hip hop, which by the way, the Bronx is the birthplace of hip hop. Yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, you know, for us, like the Puerto Rican Freedom album is a dual CD. That, um, that we helped to put together to raise funds for the Puerto Rican political prisoners and their families. And it features over 30 artists from Puerto Rico to the United States. Now, Ray, could you tell us, I understand there are three remaining Puerto Rican political prisoners right now in prison? Carlos and Oscar has been in jail close for 30 years, you know, and that was for the love of freedom, for attempting to organize to free Puerto Rico. This album is dedicated to that, to that commitment that they put forward, and we are committing to them also. Um, you can buy this at, at the um, main website, which is prfreedomproject.org. You can pick it up at the MySpace at myspace.com slash freeallpoliticalprisoners. Free um, you can also get it on iTunes, on CD Baby. We're definitely trying to put it out there for as many people as possible. 
why did you buy the t-shirt? Um, because I'm proud of my heritage, basically. So can you tell us why did you buy the one that says bilingual? Because I'm bilingual, because we're bilingual, and that's one of the most beautiful things about our history and our culture and our, our heritage and our community is that we are bilingual. We have two tongues. We could communicate in two languages. The Week in November's annual event ties in history, arts, and traditions, as well as relevant social topics. In our next report, we'll cover the topic health in the Latino community. Rebel Media reported from Orsas Community College in the South Bronx. I'm Ishmael Nunes.